so we are considered the doctors of computers, y'all. So in order to be a doctor of something, you must know the anatomy of your patient. So in this video, we're gonna go over the anatomy of a laptop. We're gonna go over all the parts and the components and also how to diagnose them if you ever have a situation where you have to diagnose a part or component. So take a look. All right, so we have the anatomy of the laptop here. We've already opened up the lid, taken that off, and this is what you're gonna see in about 90 to 98% of all Windows laptops. Mac is gonna to look totally different, but you'll be familiar with this, you can be familiar with that. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of differences in the Mac than the, run, the Windows computers. But the Windows computers, you'll always have your battery, and now that could be inside or outside of the laptop but based upon the age of the computer. Um, they all will have a hard drive. Some will have two hard drives. So if you have a customer that comes in and you need to do a diagnostics or a replacement of the hard drive, this one has a traditional hard drive, which is here. And you also have an M2 uh, SSD SATA hard drive right here. Um, now say, you are doing a diagnostics where the computer doesn't recognize the hard drive. The M2 hard drive plugs directly into the board. So it's either the hard drive or it's this part of the board that it plugs into that's bad. But when it comes to the regular, the regular hard drive, the traditional, the traditional is plugged in with a hard drive, say the connection cable. So you would also be diagnosing this cable as well. So it's not just the one component. So if you don't see the hard drive showing up on the computer and you run through numerous software tests um, to, to see if you can find it in the BIOS or if you can find it in the actual operating system or wherever you can find it and you do not see it's recognizing the hard drive and you've tried multiple hard drives try different hard drives just to make sure that it's not the hard drive as well then you would lastly be doing process of elimination to this component here which is the hard drive cable so that's how you would diagnose that whole system the hard drive system all right now say you were having problems in this area where the customer comes in and says the laptop's usb port isn't working well, that's what this board is connected. Um, this board has a ribbon going straight to the main board. So you would be diagnosing this board or its ribbon. And the ribbon is just a flip of this tab. And you can pull out the ribbon um, and then you put it back in. So you can reseat that ribbon. You can change that ribbon. You can change this board. Those are all the options for repairing a, a bad USB port on this particular side. Now on this particular side of the computer, because these USB ports are a part of the main board, you would have to replace the entire main board. So we've covered the hard drive. We have the USB port here. You guys know these are the batteries. This is an extra hard drive. We're gonna move up a little further on the board. Now, KB is written on this board. WLAN is written on this board, HDD is written on this board, so the board gets abbreviated with the components so you can know what you're looking at. So KB is abbreviation for keyboard, and this would be the ribbon. It's located under the battery and it flaps up, and this would be the ribbon. So if that's something you have to replace, then you can see that you're gonna have to either remove the uh, motherboard out to put that keyboard in, um, so you would equate that in a job, but this is the, the area of that component, the keyboard. You have your HDD, that's your hard drive cable. Your WLAN, that is your Wi-Fi, your, your Wi-Fi, your wireless network. That is that card there, and it has two ribbons, um, sometimes one ribbon that will come out and go as an antenna to the back of the screen. Further over to the this side of the board, we have our RAM, and the RAM, just two clips, pull out your chip, um, it lets you know here, one dim only, so that lets you know it's only one dim here, it's not two dims. Um, some computers will come with multiple uh, dims, more than 
two, sometimes they'll come with four. I'm gonna pause so they can come in. All right, so most laptops will have two DIMMs, but if you have a specialty laptop, sometimes you'll find that those will have four DIMMs. Um, and the DIMMs are just the slots that these um, RAM chips go into. That's the, that's the word they use for it. It's called a DIMM. Now, right here, every computer gets hot with all this stuff going on inside, and it needs something to cool it off. You'll have your fan located here, and it'll always have a plug going into the board, which gives it power. Um, and the fan is designed to go into a heat sink or connect to a heat sink. And the heat sink is just a piece of metal that covers the, the CPU chip, um, the processor chip, and it keeps it cool. And it also keeps other components inside the laptop cool um, as well, especially when it's running at high power. Um, now, moving a little further up, you see this ribbon here. Anytime you see something, um, a ribbon like this, and it's along the top edge of the screen, uh, or the laptop, when it's at the top where the screen connects at, um, these ribbons are typically going to be, or normally going to be, your video cable, your VGA cables. So this cable here connects to the screen and that's how they communicate and get video. All right, so we need some sound. So we are gonna move on to the speakers, right? So we got these two black boxes and anytime you see like the red and white cables, um, these red and white cables indicate sound. Those are like the, the typical wiring for sound. Um, so you'll have a a component going in right here which provides the sound so if you have any issues with speakers you've already ran a test on the drivers um, and they're showing up but you're getting a bad sound or it's not playing in one side or something like that then you take a look at these speakers and get those changed out now in order for all this stuff to work I'm gonna bring you in here it says DCN that's where the power goes in um, so your power cord goes in here, and if you're having any issues with power or powering on the laptop, this could be one of the issues. So you would take a look at this component. Um, this one's not soldered in, so it can be changed if you have an issue with this part not working, uh, which is good. So you don't have to change out a whole motherboard. Some of them you'll have to do the whole motherboard because this is soldered on and I don't recommend doing soldering work unless you've had years and years and years of experience um, doing it because the work won't last long. So you'll have longer lasting work by just replacing the board versus you trying to go in, heat up the board and solder on the cable if you're not experienced at doing so. Um, so now the last thing we have is our CD drive. So we have a component here. It has a small ribbon rip, uh, wiring it to the board. I'm not sure why they didn't make the board just extend a little bit bigger to this CD drive, but this is a 17-inch laptop, so maybe that's why they had to wire it to the board. But if you slide that out, it's a SATA connection here, and this is a board here. Um, the beauty of it not being wired to the board, like I said, I mean, the beauty of it not being um, soldered to the board is, like I said, if any of these components go bad, you could just order the board versus ordering the entire motherboard, which is gonna be a lot cheaper um, for you and for the customer to have the repair done. Um, if it's all soldered into one board, then you're gonna to have to replace that board, the entire board. So that's the beauty of that. And that is one of the differences between Apple and the Windows um, machine makers is that the Windows machine makers will give you an opportunity to have these smaller boards placed in different sections, whereas Apple will most of the time have everything all soldered into one um, component. And we'll do a video on that later. All right, so if we remove the battery, right? We have a couple more components here. So we already saw that the keyboard ribbon is here, um, but we also have a trackpad and the pick. So you, the TP is the trackpad. That ribbon's going for your touch on the trackpad. And the two clickers, they, they labeled it as the pick. Um, that is the board for that. So if you're having issues with those components, this is the area that you'll be looking at um, 
and replacing either the ribbons or the board. So now that you know all the components and also how to diagnose them on a computer, a laptop, we're gonna dive into the desktop in the next video. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments right below.